Hello everybody, it's Lopefake and welcome back to Let's Play Battle Network 2 with the Mega Man before that. I got Sarah Goku here. And what are we doing in this part? <laughs> and if you recall from the previous part, which you should, because maybe you just well, actually know it was last Sunday. Alright, so let me recap, I guess. Um, we gotta get our passport back. That's about it. Oh, and it's from the Undernet. <laughs> So we gotta get our pest break from the internet, and I gotta cut us off where I was close to getting there because I did a lot of exploring this part, and this because because this part of Electopia, the net, is actually much bigger than um wait not ne net not Electopia Netopia I think hmm. I, I mix these cities and cyberspaces up. Anyways, um right now we're talking to the guys who we could find the passport from, and well, these are the guys. Moles. Actually, those look Moles. like evil Pac-Man. They're called hardheads. Okay. Evil Pac-Man. I could see that. But they don't look like the hardheads in, in the traditional sense. They don't look like nets. And when they open their mouth, straight up Pac-Man, though. They definitely look pac like Pac-Man. Toad Man, you're useless. I they killed him in one shot. Well, so what? <laughs> that, that, that was use, but anyways... Basic uh, evil bad guy virus busting battle. Um, just gotta hit them with their mouths open, that's about it. But I pretty much punch his throat. That works for everything. <laughs> Gutsman would be proud. Who? Gutsman would be proud. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so we got our digital passport now. And I don't know why he's upset that we took it back because he stole it, but whatever. I like how the other guy's just turning away too. It's, it's, is it because they're still mad at each other? Oh no, they, they finished making up. Um, but yeah, that was some illegal passport selling, anyways. And this he, creepy uh, this kid again, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> this guy was like, alright, I'll let I'll give you the information, but you gotta promise me to get me a certain chip. Oh, those beady eyes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they stare into your soul. It's like the, it's like the villager stare. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> I don't remember doing all those things. His expression doesn't change. It's so generic. Anyhow, recap on why he wanted a chip. He said he'd help us out with the information on where to get our passport if he got a rare Electopian chip in return. And funny enough, the rare Electopian chip is actually one of the most common useless chips ever, which is Guard Star. Or Asterisk. <laughs> What's with Anyhow, the creepy um, Russian chick? Russian? Uh, I guess. She kind of looks Russian with the hat. I suppose. Um, she's the one who bought our. Remember those uh, chips that were stolen from us? Oh yeah. She's the one who bought them. I oh, mean, she really is from Russia. <laughs> uh, I guess I, I wouldn't know. It, that but, that's joke they they did that they used a similar joke in um g gundam oh, by the way <laughs> they used a oh. similar <laughs> joke in g gundam where where russia's gundam was built from stolen parts uh for those who are seeing me sh shoot fist i was there's actually a motion command when you pick the fist to launch him as a projectile this is snake man this is her net navy as well and Luckily enough, he is weak against fire and takes 140 damage per charge attack. And once more, I think she's French because of how she talks. Ah. Anyways, here's a cube. What's also the lucky cube? for you is that ha Snake Man doesn't move. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Because apparently being stuck in that jar means he's literally stuck in that jar and can't go anywhere. <laughs> However, every time you face him, he hides. Anyways, that cube orb you saw, I don't know if I explained it yet to be honest, but... I can't explain it out, but once you toss it, you can shoot that cube and it disperses damage in a uh, square radius around it. So I can just shoot the cube with my projectiles or chips and it'll hit Snake Man and anyone else who's around it. It's really nice. useful tube. Uh, tube. Uh, chip. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> Got her all roused up. I don't think lands into that yet lady but for the most part she said all right if you can beat me because i so rich i barely have fun i'll give you your chips back and we beat her and she gives her chips back and money because she's a rich 
and rich. it's an RPG. Every time you win a battle, you have to get money somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm like, I'm broke, but somehow you got, just got 1,000 credits off me. <laughs> how old are you? 12? <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> actually, how old is Lan? Lan is around that age, actually. 11, 10. Wow, I kind of just guessed that. Well, it's kind of a generic trope. Yeah, it's true. I didn't Anyways, know here's another was to be in like high school or something. There was the uh, Shaw for the Silver Fist. If you use the right motion, it hits all three rows at a not a random dispersal. It goes from top, I mean bottom, top, middle, and then once you get the final fist, I, I don't think I ever get it to be honest. But that one shoots it all at all three rows at once. And you, with your love of fighting games, you probably like the idea that it's button combinations. <laughs> Well, it's actually a hidden thing, you know, like, you're supposed to figure out through the boards and, you know, um, remembering all that stuff. This, I, I just remember that because, yeah, I love fighting games, but it's kind of cool how you can just use it as a regular fist right in front of you as a melee, or you can use it as a projectile if you know the motion. And the way you do it, essentially, is as you pick your chip, um, when you press your action button or the chip button or the A button, you also do the uh, motion as you hold it. And for the silver chip is down, left, right. And for the bronze chip is back, down, forward. And I forget the, the final chip, which is the platinum or silver fist. No, silver fist second. Gold fist, I think. I think that one's a full circle. Forward, down, back, up, forward. I was expecting the Hadouken motion, Shoryuken motion, and Hurricane kick motion. <laughs> um, Hurricane's there, Hadouken's there, but not Shoryuken. Because Capcom loves to throw in um, Capcom loves to throw in Street Fighter references everywhere they possibly can. <laughs> oh, if you can consider that, it's it's a basic motion. I mean, it's better than um, charge motions yeah, like that. True. I'm ju I'm just saying, it, it, and that's not to that's not to bash Capcom in any way. Like that's just a common thing they've been that they do that they've been doing since Mega Man X is just reference Street Fighter. <laughs> In some way, they like to reference other stuff. Well, I mean, like, there's subtle references, and then there's, like, blatant references, like... Like in Mega Man Soccer. <laughs> the, Just... Like in Mega Man Soccer, the, uh, newscast, the newswoman is Chun-Li. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of like cool how they have that in the background. Too, they don't even try to hide it. <laughs> and, like, or like Mega Man 9, where it's blatantly Chun-Li again. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, like, Nintendo does it too sometimes. True, they throw Mario in there whenever they get the chance to. <laughs> Anyhow, um, we went to sleep after getting our chips back, which was to end the uh, the segment. And this is the mail we get. Like, oh, you know, we're going to have our conference now. And you're that's why we were invited here in the first place. You so you got to find it on your own. Gospel place. <laughs> Anyways, this is where we're supposed to enter. But I can't enter. And the reason why to that is you just got to go out and back in. I don't understand that really. That's uh, whatever. Also, back in was uh, Cyrus was talking about the news report of the channel. Yeah, I wanted to mention that all those guard chips that I use are so fucking common. I had like twenty five of them, but when you saw them here, it was like eleven or twelve oh. that I just used it up. But those arcade machines that you trade ten chips. You get new chips. I got wood 40. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the worst ones to use. So for those who are curious and playing this game, don't don't bother with that machine unless you're trying to get 100% on chips. Speaking Anyways. Oh, um, never mind. You go ahead. Because this seems important. Uh, straight up, they're going to have their, you know, like, oh, here's our meeting on how to stop gospel. But you got to trigger by talking to everybody. Forcefully talking to everybody. That's about it. Okay. I was going to ask, how tedious is chip grinding? Um, for completionist? Or just in general, like, if you need a certain chip in order to progress or whatnot. <laughs> um, it rarely happens when you need a certain chip to progress. Oh, you don't but need, we... like, a specific chip to, like, unlock areas and whatnot? No, not at all. Okay. I didn't know if they did but, something like that. Um, there are... You do need specific chips for trades, like Pokemon. Like, do you have this kind of Pokemon? I'll trade this Pokemon for this Pokemon. That's about it. I mean, okay. the only time you need a specific chip was earlier in this part, where um, the kid wanted a, a Star Guard or Asteroid Guard chip, 
and that's about it. Which, which is not really all that hard to get, because you should at least have gotten 10 just by uh, playing the game regularly without even purposely grinding for it. Okay. So even then, yeah, so even then it's not a requirement unless you spend them on uh, chip switching, uh, swapping for little gumball machines. Yeah, it turns out there's a small dungeon underneath this secret headquarters area. And it turns out Gospel knows where their HQ was, and they're like, oh, fuck you guys, we're going to kill you now. Or stop you now, whatever. Bit of trivia for people that don't know, Gospel is actually Trouble's Japanese name. Really? Yeah. Huh. Well, in, Mega Man's, music. in the Japanese version for Mega Man 7 and 8, um, Bass and Trouble are known as Forte and Gospel. So... I believe they got rid of the, I believe they changed his name from gospel to trouble to avoid religious references because America does not like to have religion in anything that's not religion based. <laughs> well, it's not that much. It's not that bad of a switch because trouble does also play with bass. Yeah, and forte is all forte is also a music reference, but not a yeah not a reference that most people would get. <laughs> all right, so now we're in the um, HQ underground dungeon area one of my kind of mixed feelings tracks what's what the, what's the significance of the chains in the background honestly i have no clue but hey you know are you supposed to be I in guess, like an elevator or something i well dungeon chains i guess anyways these are vampires if they touch you they'll suck your life and that's about it they're traps Freaking and they take 100 damage you're a robot Inside a computer, you shouldn't even have blood to suck. Well, it's data. They probably just suck, you know, data or something. Ah, that's more like it. <laughs> Anyways, these guys are shooting water on fire. Got to wear, you know, not fire fuck up. Fire should not take out water. It should be the other way around. <laughs> well, I mean, it, he takes normal damage. It's just that he does double damage to me. So this is the part of the game which... Once you finish this, or as you finish this, it's considered the halfway point of this game. And it's kind of long, but also kind of short, in a sense of if you know what you're doing, it's short enough, but if you're fresh to this game without even watching a Let's Play or reading a fact, you can get stuck for a while like I did earlier. <laughs> I'm sure if I were playing this game, I would have gotten stuck multiple times. Well, when I was recording it, it was mostly me trying to remember stuff, so it was a little bit speedier. However, I did have end up taking a while because uh, I was on the net looking for the passport thieves. <laughs> I mean, from what I've noticed, most of these dungeons are pretty straightforward. Some of them are. Some I mean, of them I mean, aren't. It's not Final Fantasy 13 bad, where it's literally just a straight hallway, but... <laughs> uh, as much as I would love to get into that, I'm not going to. Anyhow, the gimmick of this dungeon is you that have be, three- That's not just my- that's not my opinion. That's a lot of people's opinion. I'm not trying to doubt- I know you like Final Fantasy XIII. I don't mean to upset you. I didn't say me. I like it. I didn't say it wasn't bad. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say I don't like it. I said it just wasn't bad. But I agree with you. But like I said, I just don't want to talk about Final right, Fantasy Right, right. We don't have to talk about thirteen on this. This is Mega but Man, the... damn it. <laughs> Yes, motherfucker, this is Mega Man! <gasps> Super Hold funny robot! Hold on a second. <laughs> yes? Anyhow, the gimmick of this dungeon is you gotta worry about three enemies. You got the zombie, the vampire, and you'll see later on the the bandit. As those little robots were telling us, um, if you get caught by a zombie, you get sent back to their graveyard, which isn't all that bad. But here we got three spooky threes. And they kind of fight like other spookies, except they actually heal much harder. So you may want to kill them in one shot, or at least weaken them enough to around 50 or 60 health. I would go with 50 and then just finish them off there. Uh, hopefully you're not using the uh, regular cannons and using the, uh, the mid cannons that do about 60 damage per shot. I don't really use cannons anymore, but that's just me. Also, we got the uh, invis chip, which, well, it works like every other invis chip previously that I don't think I've used. But it pretty much makes you invisible longer than Invis 2 or Invis 1. Which is not that great. At least I don't think so, unless you're into dodging or lack dodging skills. Or going with just a buster run for all I know. There's a lot of ways to play this game, which is pretty cool. Oh, I don't, know if, I, I don't know if I asked this, but um, can you run away from battles? 
Yes, and I've only done it once in this Let's Play because I was fucking about to die. But you'll see that much, much, much later. Alright, so the um, operators, I guess, I, I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. They were talking to one another, it's like, oh no, something, something, and we're about to die, and they're all traps, so we just found the princess of this area. Oh, actually another kingdom, or city, whatever. I forgot what her kingdom was. But we gotta deactivate this via, well, that switch, that obvious switch we have there. But like, oh no, gospel, what are we gonna do? We're gonna get crushed. Too bad viruses can be dealt with just by hacking in or logging into the terminals. So we, here we have more NPCs telling us here are some tips on how to avoid them and when zombies turn and when vampires turn. Um, if you're having trouble with it, I guess you, you pay attention. However, you can just get caught by vampires and I'll get caught by zombies. If you can survive it, that is. Because what I do is during battle is I prolong the fights so I can heal up, make it a lot easier. So we got Cannonball. As you see, it's a star, and it's always going to be loading up from my chip folder the first time, no matter what now. And I had to bring that up because that is my default chip for the most part of the game until we get the best default chip later on. And these dungeons, or area, or scenarios, it's not really that bad. But it's just... It's only tedious because of the three baddies here, you see. And... Once you get the cyber key and move on, you can turn it off. You can turn off the or pull the lever to turn off the switch. Right. So it's not all that bad. And all these skulls everywhere. Yeah, that's not that's not foreboding at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you saw, this is the third baddie of the dungeon. The bandit stole five thousand one hundred zenny, and you'll never get it back. No, I'm kidding. That'd be a dick move, Capcom and developers. Oh, like you can't get that back. Yeah, um, for those who are not familiar with RPGs, but there are sometimes that enemies do steal it. Um, Final Fantasy's done it. They'll see your, they'll see your Zenny. Every RPG ever has an enemy that can steal your mind. <laughs> well, this this one isn't that bad to be honest, because in other games they steal your money, but you have to kill them before they run away. In this one, if they steal your money, it'll be at the very end of the the this part of the dungeon. However, if you, I think if you do log out. And log back in, it will will it will be permanently gone. So as, so as you see right here, he's uh, the bandit that stole our money and we got it back. So you don't need to really worry about the bandit. It doesn't even do damage. I just, I never, I never really saw the point of the bandit to be honest. Unless you're forced to log out, like I said. But yeah, the fist, the silver fist, once you know the motion, uh, makes clearing out battles a lot easier as you just as you guys just saw since it does 100 damage spread out to three rows it only hits one enemy though so don't think it'll face through the whole lane or row well that would be cheap if it did bandits love to take turns to the left remember the left you so we got more people tell you to do something when they tell you that it means to do the exact opposite so you should go to the right <laughs> well, it was actually giving the actual hint because they did turn to the left. Okay. Alright, so she lost her best battle chip and she would go on with us if we could. As more traps are happening. Good job, Lan. Huh. So oh, they're talking right now. Bad. Why would you think otherwise? Oh no, she's talking. The, her phone turned on, but she's actually battling against someone right now. Oh, I thought she was betraying you. <laughs> oh, nah. She was actually. Her nightmare just got fucked up. Yeah. So, who, the gospel member just killed her nightmare, or deleted him. And she's fucked. I don't know why goo goo is a scary term. But I guess it's supposed to be like, or something like that. I don't know. I can't really do the voice right now. 
Chad, so, Chad, you're useless. You don't ever help us in anything. All you do is get in the way. Well, actually, he's actually a lot more useful than you give him credit to be. I'm sure he, I'm sure he is. But as of right now, he's done nothing but get in our way and accomplish nothing. He doesn't get in our way. He actually helps us. He helps us with Shadow Man. He helps us with Quick Man, and he's helping us right now. They're trying to figure out who the hell Gospel Member is doing yeah. this right now. He's doing it to make up for being a total ass in the first game. <laughs> Yeah, he, he lacked friends. But look, it's our turn to die. Sort oh of. Oh god. Fireman's gonna murder us. Well, it's not really Fireman, but... Yeah, didn't we already I mean, fight Fireman? We fought... Did we fight? No, we fought Airman. Oh, I'm, thinking of, a... I'm thinking of the first game again where you do fight Fireman. Inside yeah. the oven, ironically. <laughs> So we couldn't really jack in to turn off this fire. However, you remember that male, or for some reason in the cartoon pronounced Mei Lu, which is weird, um, gave us the wireless chip. <laughs> yeah, Nen T Warrior. That's Mei Lu. What happens when you get stuff dubbed by four kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, four kids. But I'll, I'll take will it never anyways. defend that dubbing company. I'm glad it's out of business. <laughs> <laughs> So, Mei Lu, or Mayo, I'm just gonna go with Mayo, because, yeah, it just sounds right. Even though it's ironic um, that her name is Mayo and she's a female. Mayo, fail. Um, she gave us a wireless um, device that lets us connect our PETs wirelessly, so now we don't have to worry about getting burnt. You really like using Gate Man, don't you? He's fucking amazing! He does 120 damage to a single enemy if they're in front of you. <laughs> I've just noticed you've been using him a lot. Yeah, I also use a silver fist a lot. Um, earlier, we also got a sub chip uh, expansion increase, which is, in RPG terms, your item inventory has been increased. Oh, nice. So instead of holding three, we can hold four healing items or unlocks or lock enemy, which I don't really use for some reason it's because. A really small inventory space. Hell, even Mario RPG gave you more of an inventory space than that. Well, the reason behind that being is because when you log out, you heal, and you can also heal in battle much easier than, um, you know, outside. It's only mostly useful when you, like, you got... I mean, there's also a roll, too, but it's mostly useful yeah, if... This game gives you way too many ways of healing. You should never die. <laughs> but there are also ways for you to get your ass handed to you. True. Like, not even with elementals, but there are gimmicks as well. Yeah, guys can, like, corner you and shit. So we got another call, and Raul was getting his ass handed to him. Wow, everyone's getting destroyed. What the hell is going on? Oh, just you wait till you see Raul. He'll be, uh... Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Also, he reminds me of T-Hawk. He's not supposed well, to, it is Captain. he reminds me of T-Hawk. It might be on purpose. It is Captain, <laughs> no, no, no. after all. No, here's the thing. He looks nothing like T-Hawk, but he reminds me of T-Hawk, is what I'm trying to get at. Like, I think his it's his color palette. similar, though. I wouldn't know because mm. I don't know much about Street Fighter. <laughs> Not quite. It's mostly his um his color palette's what I'm trying to get at probably. Ah. So we got uh, another megabyte increase for our default chip. Which is great. I mean once I mean I personally like having my cannon as default chip because it's an asterisk asterisk. Whereas I normally probably would have used Silver Fist, however that costs a lot more megabytes, but even then I do have enough later on. The reason I like cannon is because it doesn't cost that much to be a default chip, and um, it's also an asterisk, so you can add more chips to something else if you need it in the beginning of the battle. You got if you were dealt a hell, uh, a bad chip hand or whatever. Also, those enemies you saw, shadows. There's so much I need to explain. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I'm starting to lose my breath. Those shadows can only be hit by blades, like Shadow Man's apparitions. So anything else will not hurt it. Literally, nothing else will hurt it. Only the sh only a blade will hurt it. Man, I need a break <laughs> asking questions, <laughs> but not right now because we're almost done. <laughs> wow. Uh. Well, at least you got a lot done in this part. <laughs> yep, and with that, we're out. Later, guys. See ya.